Hello data scientists. Today I just want to show how I use backward algorithm in hidden Markov model. As you are familiar with them, I just try to skip them. For example, in forward algorithm, you just need to find this probability using this uh, recursive formula. So we just need to find alpha 1 through alpha k. In backward algorithm, it's just the opposite one. So we have a recursive algorithm using Markov property and uh, the order of complexity is n multiply m squared. You could also uh, formulate forex or trading problems as a VTRB algorithm. But for now, let's just skip it. I use expectation maximization algorithm to compute emission probability because in general it's so hard to find an explicit formula for, for different probabilities. So I just try to use a numerical and iterative approach. So as you see, it has two steps, expectation step and maximization step that I will show in, in my Java code in a second. This article is really important uh, if you are working on hidden Markov model for Forex or any other market but uh, my approach is a little bit more general because I want to take advantage of uh, different regime changes in different conditions. Of course, I use the same variables such as returns. Of course, this return is, uh, is, is normalized by T and T is the difference between different regime changes. So in that article, uh, he compared different approaches, one using time series, the other one using directional change approach. And he has used different uh, indicators and you see your, his results. But uh, for, now, for me, uh, I just use bullish and bearish. Uh, so in each hidden state, I have only two hidden states. In each of them, uh, uh, we are either bullish or bearish. And we calculate beta 1 and beta 2. And this one is expectation maximization algorithm. So let's just run in backtest mode. In backtest mode, I just, uh, I just calculate these regime changes. I use InfluxDB. Uh, it's a very, very good time series database. And I use generics because I, I love, I love um, uh, loose coupling. And, and after getting those returns, we just uh, give it and pass it to a uh, backward algorithm using a batch size of five. So what does backward algorithm do? Uh, here we just initialize in backward algorithm, we just uh, run HMM, run hidden Markov model, but before that we initialize and then calculate emission probabilities using uh, using I use a Gaussian distribution and uh, uh, for each batch I calculate mean and variance and uh, and after that I calculate beta 1 and beta 2 so in expectation maximization I have this posterior probability as you are familiar with Bayes theorem and uh, I calculate those parameters so each of these means of A and B are updated in different batches and finally uh, I have these results as, as you see uh, that's it